You're watching ZTV. Hey everyone, my name is Zari from ZariBanks.co. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It is Tuesday, March 7th, 2017, and we are in the month of Adar, 5777. I hope you got your first fruit seeds in. This is the year 2017. One of the things that 17 represents is victory, so you want to be sure that you are sowing your first fruit seeds for every month this year. I'm on God's calendar, so my um, when I sow that is a little bit different than you know the start of a month like March or something like that, but they're pretty close at this moment actually because God's new year started right at the beginning of October last fall. Um, so definitely get those seeds in so that you can um, reap a victory. And you know, if you're not in a reaping season right now, you're in a sowing season, your next year and your next couple of years will be awesome. So don't, um, don't not sow just because you're in a, you know, you're not in a reaping season right now. There will come a time, you know, if you're consistent, you're sowing where your reaping will overtake anything that you've sowed in the past. So look forward to that. I just have a quick testimony for you today. I, um, oh, well, it's about intercession. So, um, I am anointed for intercession. It's something that I do. I spend lots of time interce interceding and praying for other people. And I love to pray for other people and I always get blessed by praying for other people. And here's a testimony of, of um, operating in my intercessory anointing. So a lot of times when I pray for people, my money angel shows up, you know, as a blessing. And so um, I was praying for someone today, just releasing a blessing over them at their birthday lunch, matter of fact. And they were like, oh my gosh, da, 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 is there any way you can write that prayer down for me? And I'm like, well, no, because I didn't. You know, I was just praying for you in the moment, you know, releasing that blessing over you. But while I was praying for her, the money angel showed up. And it's so funny, by the time the the birthday lunch was over, I had $151 sewn into me, you know, just for whatever that anointing came, that money angel showed up, and then people, you know, are sewing into that anointing. So, um, you know, you, so many things that I want to say in this, you know, it, when you're doing what God has called you to do, that's where you're going to find your prosperity. I have a teaching, a couple of teachings you might like. One's called prophetic vision board. You know, people love vision boards, but if you can marry, you know, the concept of vision board with God's um, blueprint for your life, then you've got guaranteed success. And um, I have a, a the follow-up teaching to um, prophetic vision board is called um, the yellow brick road. It's about your kingdom path. And how that came about was I, um, in, in 2016, I said to the Lord, he said, well, he sent a, a couple prophets to me over the last four years and was saying like, you're a prophet. And I kept saying, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm a teacher. And then, so finally in 2016, I said, okay, yes, I'll be a prophet. And so I started learning from the Lord and having him teach me. And he narrowed down my, um, my kingdom path for me. He told me basically, the three things that I'm responsible for in my ministry, and yes, they include, or in my business, my life altogether, it includes business and ministry, but the three things, you know, that I am skilled and trained to do, and that's how I can pick an assignment and say yes or no, you know, because if it fits under one of these three categories, then I know I'm going down the right path, and that is on the way to my destiny, because your destiny is your overall, you know, the completion of your life, you know, and it even has to do with the legacy that you're leaving for the future generations, so your destiny is not something that you're living right now. It's something that you, you know, that when you get your crown in heaven, like you'll get to see how everything, thank you, Lord, unfolds and it'll be a glorious picture for you. So what you're doing right now is you're living your purpose and you're fulfilling assignments, you know, in your purpose or not, if you're not there yet, those classes will help you get there. But um, that's just a testimony to, you know, how powerful it is to reap. And so um, it, it's a testimony of, you know, being in that place, doing those assignments that the Lord has called you to do, because I talked about this in the yellow brick road, the, the, the class about your kingdom path. When you are in that place of your kingdom path, the provision is going to be there because you're in God's will and because your gifts are operating at their maximum, right? That's the perfect place to be. There's a revelation angel here right now. Um, so that's where you want to be and that provision will just come. So here I am just out enjoying lunch with friends, you know, blessing somebody who I love very much just by spending time with them for their birthday. And then 
the anointing of the Lord comes because I'm doing something I'm called to do, which is to intercede on behalf of others and release blessings and things like that as a prophetic voice. And all of a sudden, my money angel shows up to bless me and I end up leaving somebody else's birthday party, you know, with a lot of cash. It's That's, you know, how the Lord works when you're doing what you're supposed to do in your, you know, in your life, your calling, all that stuff. So... You know, you have to think about that. I talk about that in, in the Yellow Brick Road course as well. And you can get all of these courses, all of my books, anything that I produce from supernaturalubooks.info. But um, when you are uh, doing, you know, what God has called you to do, he will make sure the provision is there. You know, there's that cliche. I'm not fond of Christian cliches, but sometimes it just fit. Where God gives the vision, he provides the provision, right? He gives provision. So when I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, the Lord provides for me. Just like um, the last two weeks of March, I'm holding prayer calls for supernatural debt cancellation for student loans, specifically for student loans, because I get so many prayer requests to, pay, to pray for supernatural debt cancellation for student loans, okay? So I'm going to do a couple big, you know, big calls to get as many people in there as absolutely possible. But when I'm doing that, not only do people get their debt canceled, but the Lord blesses me because that's something that I'm called to do is to intercede on behalf of others. And he answers and he shows up when I pray for other people. That's why people are continually asking me to pray for them. And that's why the Lord has anointed me to be an intercessor. Okay. So just be thinking about all of that, you know, living out your purpose and stuff like that. You're going to have more peace. You're going to have more joy, more fulfillment. You're going to have more demonstration of the kingdom when you are living in your purpose. So do whatever you have to do to find out what it is. Like I said, the Lord can narrow it down to you to three things and say, bam, 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 this is you. You know, everything you need to do needs to point back to one of these three things. He can do the exact same thing for you because he did it for me. But like I said, I spent time seeking him and asking him, narrow it down. I don't want to be outside of your will. I want to know what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm not going through um, months and weeks and days of confusion or anything like that. You know, I'm already 40 years old. I just want to know where I'm going from this point forward. And no, you don't know everything. You can't plan everything, but I have a greater framework than I've ever had before. And just think about how powerful that is for teenagers. That course is powerful for teenagers. That course would be powerful for, um, you know, people in college, people just coming out of college, for anybody who's wondering, you know, what exactly am I supposed to do? I, I give you the guidelines and how to sit with the Lord, how to meet with the Lord and find all of that stuff out so that he can tell you, okay, bam, I called you to do this line of things. And so all of the assignments that you take in life, your job, you know, how you're directing your family, how you're directing your relationships, your travel, blah, blah, blah. All this stuff is going to fit into those, whatever number of things he gives you. He gave me three and, um, you know, and then you'll find that place of convergence. It's what it's called. It's where everything's successful. You have the provision you need. You're enjoying it. Your gifts are firing. You're just on it. Like boom, 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 boom. The Lord wants you to get there. He will help you get there. And, um, you know, there are ways for you to get there. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I hope something in this blessed you. And um, don't forget to visit me at ZariBanks.co. Take care.